All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to the Football Friends podcast for another week. We are the fastest growing football based New Zealand podcast. And I'm your host, Gage. And as always, I'm joined by Ash and Patty. Kia ora. Hello. Yeah. All right, well, let's get stuck into this and start talking about the Premier League. Yeah, well, where better to start than the, uh, the return of the king, as it were? Yeah, all right, okay. Ledley. Is Ledley back? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ledley King, he's back. <laughs> yeah, you're playing up front with, you know, with Ronaldo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, I suppose I'll kick it off then. Yeah, so, of course, we played we played Newcastle. And, uh, you know, very, very good performance. Uh, Ronaldo-inspired, and that's, you know, very pleasing. Like, I mean, that's that's exactly what we, we brought him into the club for. He seems to be coming off to a flying start. Yeah, I mean, it, it's... It's very nice that he scored on his on his re debut, if you like. I don't I don't know if the keeper had uh, breakfast in the morning. <laughs> Watching him, I, I I don't know what was going on. He the first the first one was a terrible piece of keeping. It's like he wanted Ronaldo to score. It's like he thought, wouldn't it be nice if Ronaldo scores on his well, game back? <laughs> To be honest, though, like that 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 goal is incredible, man. Like Ronaldo's instinct, he went he went full instinct mode. Yeah, I agree. He, he played he played mode. like a number nine. Yeah, yeah, he, I agree. He was on the spot to tap it like, in. Like the thing is, before before Mason Greenwood even shoots, you can he's see moving. you can yeah. see Ronaldo looking for with he's expecting. Yeah, he's deflection. playing like a top footballer. Yeah, exactly. And, and and the morale boost of having somebody like that in your team was evident. Yeah, in the, in the United mm-hmm. squad. Well, I think you guys will agree when I say this, but one of the biggest things we lacked was mentality. Yeah, 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 yeah. I agree. And and I think that I, you know, <laughs> Ronaldo brings like the biggest mentality around. You know, yeah, he, he's very sure of himself. Absolutely, and and uh, like from what I've heard, right, like th- training has been insane because literally every single player is trying to impress Ronaldo. <laughs> I, yeah. I, I even heard something even more like specific than that. Um, is it is it Lee Grant? Is he still a player or yeah. is he a co like player coach? Is he a goalkeeper? He was a goalkeeper. He, he goalkeeper was a coach, coach or something. Goalkeeper, I think he's a goalkeeper he's coach, a coach or something. Now. Helping helping out with because we something. brought in Heaton to replace him. Heaton's yeah. now our third choice. Okay. Yeah. So it, either way, the, the quote is from him, and he's and he's talking about what's on Ronaldo's plate at. Um, you know, meal time at in the United kitchen, and every other player is looking at what he has, and it, obviously it's the healthiest meal around. And every other player is like, obviously there's sugary options, not not touched. No, nobody wants to well, yeah, right. let let Chris down. I was thinking about it before about the one you know he did that press conference and he like. <laughs> got rid of the coca-cola and he was like no agua like drink water yeah. <laughs> like, what a legend like he's so right like uh, i mean that's why he is still playing at 36 and and just so you're that's a he's a year older than wayne rooney <laughs> <laughs> yeah but wayne's playing for derby so who's winning there no, no wayne's emphatically not <laughs> playing for derby yeah because he got suspended the last game <laughs> Yeah, well, he keeps injuring his own players. So. <laughs> <laughs> Got suspended in training. <laughs> yeah, but uh, anyway, awesome, awesome match. Uh, I I felt like we really dominated that one, uh, which is good. That's I mean, come on, that's what we should be doing to Newcastle every time. Like, yeah. Uh, that, that's like I said, like I said last week. Uh, no excuse. We have no excuses. And yeah. I'm going to eat these words when we start talking about the Champions League later. But <laughs> but when, when I watched this match, I was like, yes, this is the level I expect. Yeah, I mean, ab- absolutely. Um, you know, you you look down the table at United's, you know, oppositions. Uh, and aside from the, uh, you know, the games against the, the, the big, you know, the top four, they should be... Sp- Spanking all of them. Yeah, well, that was our pro- our problem last time. Was you know we can we can stand up to the big teams. We have we have the players for that. But uh, anyone that comes in with like a low block, we we didn't have the ability to break that down. Yeah. But now that we've added Ronaldo, yeah, I'm at, well, and Jaden Sancho, I suppose, I'm a lot more confident about that. And, absolutely. Um, you know, it, it, 
you know, sometimes all you need is one moment of, you know, world class play from a world class player to to just smash it in basically against, you know, mm. Brentford when you're when they're they're playing away from home and they're just trying to uh, to stifle. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and a bit of a bit of fear factor for other defences now. Absolutely. You know, you're you're looking at the team sheet and you go, shit on Mark and Ronaldo. So <laughs> you know, and you gotta think about that on top of, you know, the other duties in the game. So there's there's added thinking for other people, other other players coming up against him and things like that. Mm-hmm. Um, on your mentality, somebody like Ronaldo can only help the Paul Pogba, Paul Pogba situation. Mm-hmm. I think some he's somebody with all the talent, but lacks that mentality a little bit. So mm-hmm. hopefully he can get the best out of Pogba, and you could see, mm-hmm. yeah, the four four one every week. Well, um, well the, the so. other thing too is that uh, you know a player like Pogba was probably pretty tempted by a PSG offer. You know, but, yeah. oh, but, six months ago, yeah, why not? But then we add Ronaldo, and now all of these players are like, well, I want to stay. Like I want to stay, and that's what happened with Martial. Like Martial had had a loan deal ready to go for Leon in yeah, the, right, the transfer window and then he basically said no I want to play with Ronaldo yeah so like that's I, f- I find that amazing that's that's such a good thing to have and oh man like you know it's <laughs> it's it's been two games he's already scored three goals so great start yeah you know? literally better than Arsenal <laughs> so on, <Yeah>. on this, <laughs> more goals than so, Arsenal okay so on top of Mourinho watch can we have a weekly League. shit on Arsenal yeah. oh, well, I mean yes that but um, <laughs> specifically Cristiano Ronaldo versus Arsenal uh, goal tally, goal, tally. Goal, goal count. yeah okay cool so 2-1 as it stands <laughs> yep. well, um, again um, good game from Ronaldo but can we have a shout out for the other number 7 that was on the field and Joel Linton made, oh, yeah. making his season debut the first game of the season for the big Newcastle number 7 Oh, where are you going somewhere with us? Or no, just, just like he, he, he was, he was the best number seven on the field. He was what? Yeah, he was the best number seven called <laughs> Joel. <laughs> I, I, I really, really, sincerely thought that was going to be a sincere point about Bruno Fernandez's goal, because, <laughs> <laughs> because you know, obviously the media was focusing on Ronaldo's return, and quite mm. rightly, but Bruno Fernandez scored possibly the best goal of the weekend mm. uh, but Townsend may have a couple <laughs> words to say about that Ooh, but, yeah, yeah. but Bruno's goal was a Very tough, fair yeah. strike definitely and you know a lot of people were there was a lot of speculation like people saying shit like um, how's it going to work how are Bruno and Ronaldo going to work together two big egos uh, you know who's taking penalties who's taking free kicks all this kind of stuff and pff, just seems like they're, they're it's like their best friends forever. Like <laughs> they seem more switched on than ever. Like uh, I, I feel like they're gonna they're gonna have a, a ruthless partnership this season. Well, yeah. they play internationally together, yeah. so they're they're not strangers to each other's game. Well, th- that's the thing. I don't know how much like I don't. Bruno hasn't necessarily played for Portugal like a tremendous amount yet. Yeah. So mm. um, he because you know, he sort of only hit his his peak in the last couple of yeah, seasons or so. Two. Yeah, yeah. So it's. It's probably something we'll see more in the future as well. Like them, well, their partnership is going to be unreal because they yeah. play every single game with each other. I mean, also if you were playing up front with your idol, yeah, would you let them take the penalties? I think I would. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> cause, so from what I from what I realise now uh, after watching the Champions League game, Bruno Bruno is taking free kicks, and um, but I don't know about penalties because there has not been one yet. Right. So I think it will be Ronaldo. It yeah. also comes down to how you're feeling in the moment. I know they're professionals and yeah, you know, they're ready to go at any time. But yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Every now and again, they might just get that feeling like I've got this. Like, mm. watch, watch out! I'm going to boss dog. Well, but that's like, going to be Ronaldo every time. Yeah, to every be, time he's going to be like, "Bro, I got this." To be fair, <laughs> to be fair, if Luke Shaw taps Ronaldo on the shoulder and goes, "I feel pretty good about this one," mm. and Ronaldo says, "That's interesting, Luke. I'm going <laughs> to score. Now. I'm going to score now." <laughs> yeah. Um, just turns around and says, "Yes, I know I'm going to score it." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, stoked, man. Two two goals on Rebu, and then you know, goal for Bruno, and then one for Jesse Lingard too. Yeah, Lingardinho. So yeah, yeah. I'm. That's that's awesome. Like, uh, 
he's he's back in the squad and uh, it seems to we're going to use him over over other players you know like Van der yeah. Beek and stuff like that it's going to be Jesse Lingard mm. and I think look if, if Jesse's happy to sit on the bench uh, fine but I think the best thing for him is to move because he was he was absolutely electric when he played at West Ham and it's I don't know whatever it is maybe it's the pressure of Man U or something like that but he's just never played that good for us as he did for West Ham in that, in that short time yeah I agree mm. so it's a bit frustrating because yeah, again, he he's another one that wants to play with Ronaldo. <laughs> so yeah, well, the, the 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 videos emerging of him like as a what's Lingard now twenty not eight nine something like that. Yeah, so he would have been eleven or twelve watching yeah. the Ronaldo that they just signed. Yeah, I, well, I watched a, uh, there was a they released a, a training video from, yeah, was, from years ago, and it's, there's a tiny little Lingard with like a shaved head. Yeah, and and like like she's like ten, and then like there you R- go, Ronaldo then. like pats him on the head and like, <laughs> it's, it's so it's so wholesome I'd like to see them recreate it next time Ronaldo scores just Lingard walk up give him a yeah oh that'd be awesome like <laughs> yeah uh, so yeah like I, 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 was, I was really stoked with that match you know we we yeah we maintained it was 65 65% position I think that, that's pretty dominant man we, we pretty much dominated oh, the look, game there's, there's no second guessing who mm. the better team was yeah yeah you know, we smashed them on, on passes and, and everything. So, uh, yeah, just a full dominant win. That's the, I want to see more of that. Um, just before we move on from this game, I want to give a quick shout out to Heavy Mankeo for scoring for Newcastle and sitting on my fantasy Premier League bench. Not able to move because I he's a defender and oh, yeah, oh, rough. None of my defenders left. So cool. <laughs> thank thank you to him. Yeah. Um, next is um, Palace. Oh, Palace. The, 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 yeah, the Palace game. The, the Palace game. The, the Crystal yeah. Palace game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ones where they played uh, uh, whoever it was. Yeah, a team that shall not oh, be known. This is fantastic because I actually managed to watch this match too. Uh, I, <laughs> I did and wish I hadn't. Um, so, obviously, without our Argentine contingent and Huming Son, it was a different sort of shape. Um, it was the wrong shape. Mm. Um, everything seemed to go wrong. Uh, we had Eric Dyer get injured in the first half, and then we also had a red card, and it just seemed to fall well, to pieces. So, so yeah, it was two yellows for Tango. Yes. And what do you think? What do you think? The about The first it? one probably should have been a straight red. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you get to see it, um, yeah, yeah. It's, he it's blocks. Amazing. He blocks Zaha with two hands and basically pushes him to the floor oh he takes him out bro yeah and <laughs> I can see why you would make that challenge um, mm. at the same time it's an experience it's yeah, it's yeah. a little bit of everything there he knows he knows Zaha's gonna get through him and get the ball mm. and it, they're in trouble so he takes him out he just does what he does and just yep mm. yeah sit down for a second and they have an and, angry hug. yeah a bit of an <laughs> angry fight back from Zaha there he got a yeah. yellow for it as well yeah yeah so- um, I, th- I felt like that was the right decision. Tan Ginga, like, yeah. he wasn't mad about it. didn't look like there was any malice in it. Um, yeah. It's when when Zaha it. got up, it was kind of like, a chill out, bro. Like, yeah, he, tried yeah. to hug it, he tried to hug him out so he couldn't get too angry at him. Um, <laughs> like, like, full props. Yeah. It was it was a great bit of football. Um, to be fair, if I got pushed over by Tanganga and then he was like, come on, bro, let's have a hug, I wouldn't be arguing. Mm. Nah. Look at him. Uh, and he's what? He's like 22 or something. Like, he's mm. a big dude, too. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah, just an experience. He'll learn from it. Uh, the second challenge was unlucky. Um, he looked like he was getting the ball, and then it just got nipped away what? from him. There was no real contact. The guy jumped over and what? yeah, lost his lost his footing. It's it's another yellow. So to, to be honest, I actually felt like Tanganga was pulling out. Like you know, he was trying to pull mm. out of the tackle. Yeah, um, yeah. He, but. I feel like after you, right after you had that other yellow because this was only a few minutes later. Uh, yeah, it yeah, was yeah. it was like his next challenge. He was yeah, like yeah. he saw the ball and he's like, I can get that and yeah, you yeah. saw him going for it and he looked like he was gonna get it and then all of a sudden the guy just, just tweaks his movements and then he's like, I'm I'm in trouble. Yeah, you can yeah. see it on his face. He's just going, mm. I'm I'm done. <laughs> he got up and he was just like, I was going for the ball like yeah, typical. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and then you just, there's Is nothing it? else you can do. Is that his so, first red card? Yes. Yeah. Because so. 
we look at someone like who plays in that position, and obviously defenders get them more than midfielders and attackers, but mm. we look at someone in that position like Serge Aurier, who picks up yellow and reds for, for so sport. Tang Yang is a centre back, isn't he? Well, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah fine. Def- defender. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But similar, a, a person in a similar position on the pitch who just loses the head and loses gets... that yeah what I'm trying to gain here is is he that guy or is he I don't think so no. I yeah. think it's inexperienced it's not yeah. that he's not a good defender mm. or he's not a good player him and Serge Aurier have different mentalities yeah yeah I can see what you're trying to good. say um, <laughs> yeah, uh, the, yeah you have you have those players that just want to destroy people maybe Sergio Ramos is just his favourite defender like, maybe I mean, he's my favourite defender <laughs> yeah. maybe but Ramos yeah. seems to stay on the pitch most of the time well <laughs> I, I don't know about that yeah yeah um, um, but, yeah, but I, so. actually, I actually agree with you I, I actually think Tanganga uh, has a lot of potential yeah he's a yeah and that that's not representative of how he is most of the time yeah, but no. yeah he lost his head in that match and I agree with you. I think it was from lack of experience. Yeah, yeah. And like I said, Dyer went off, so he didn't really have an experienced player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, they brought on Joe Rodon. Um, Joe so, Rogan. Yeah, he doesn't. Joe Rogan experience. Yeah, he wasn't like <laughs> he hasn't played enough Premier League football to be an experienced like the yeah, yeah. the experienced defender in yeah, a team. Too busy running his podcast. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we should get him on. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. Um, so yeah, there was there was that, and then our midfield looked average. Um, we played three holding midfielders and Winks, um, Hoiberg and Skip. Skip, yeah, yeah. It's yeah, not um, it's not positive, is it? It doesn't fill you with confidence. Like yes, Hoiberg can play the ball forward well. He can no. like you've seen him do it for Denmark in the, oh, Hoy- in the Hoy- summer. Hoy- he, solid, man. he can oh, do whatever you like. Um, Skip Skip can pull a pass here and there, but. He's still predominantly a, a holding midfield. Winks, I'm sorry, but Winks should not play for Spurs again. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like you were saying with somebody like Lingard, it's time to go. Mm. Shift you on. Um, yeah, they just didn't, he doesn't, yeah. doesn't fit that team like, anymore. Winks would be a killer for the Brentford Bees, man. Oh, <laughs> <100%. laughs> Brentford A's even. But, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, even, even one of those lower, lower tier Premier League teams like Arsenal yeah. here do really well. <laughs> Doesn't um, he, wouldn't have to, good, well played. Wouldn't, um, have to, wouldn't have to move that far away no, either. No, no, yeah. can, the commute's easy. Um, so, yeah, and then we played a front three of Kane, Ellie, and Lucas. But Ellie was forced a little wider mm-hmm. and it's not what just he's, doesn't, no, it just doesn't not, work as a wide Not player. what he's good at. That, that's what I was actually going to ask you. Do you think, do you think, Ellie should be a ten. Do you do you think that's his or like a midfielder? He, he's, he is he is a centre forward in my opinion. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, you always going about put him play a striker. I, like I, he's effective. Uh, yeah, he, like yeah, yeah. right up next. He to should the striker. play. He should play above Kane, and Kane drops. Mm. So they play the same position almost. Yeah, they yeah. can. They both can play that role, whether it's behind a striker or being the main striker. Yeah. Mm. So that fluidity of those two. And then they don't have to do the running of the wide men. Um, yeah. you know, like I said, we miss Son. Um, cool. Bergwijn was out injured as well. Um, it would have been nice to see Gil get a run. I heard Gil's going to be a wee while. He's still yeah. Uh, adapting. Yeah. You know? He's still... He's, he's, only, he's really young. And he's young. Yeah. Um, and he's not so, a physical guy. So. Mm. Yeah, there was a couple of... If, it was, if we were that desperate for a left-sided winger or, mm. or midfielder... I would have looked at maybe playing Ben Davis at um wow. at fullback and pushing Regulon mm. up. Oh yeah, okay. That would so have been bad. my Regulon's got a good cross. Yeah, I just think Regulon's got quite a good forward game. Yeah. Um. So you could have played oh. you could have played a four four two, and actually mm. and actually done that and had a solid. Yeah. You know, you add another experienced defender in there, and mm. it'll look a little bit different. So yeah. yeah. Well, so I mean, I know you're saying Regulon's good going forward, but how about that goal line clearance? You see that one? Yeah, yeah, like, that was unreal. That was like you remember you remember Kyle Walker's one when he kicked the ball like literally straight, oh, like, like literally oh, as straight he, as it could be. Yeah, he motors. Well, yeah, yeah. Regulon did exactly the same thing, but with his head, the ball literally just went straight up. It was <laughs> very impressive it was, it, on the goal. I didn't line. see that one. It was incredible. It was a really good, really good goal line clearance. Mm. Yeah, uh, and debut for Emerson Royale. 
Um, the best name in the Premier League. Do you play yeah. like royalty? Um, with cheese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, he played. He played more like Prince Andrew. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he, no, he did not play for the under twelves. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Quite enough. Um, well, I mean, is he worse than Aurier? Like, no, he'll be ten times better. Yeah. Um, so, not, so not so bad. Like being a Spurs supporter, we've always had relatively strong fullbacks mm. since I've watched them play. Yeah, um, true. It's been something that I've always had, so he just adds to that. Yeah. Well, you like playing at the back, so yeah. And whether you're playing as a four or a five, you need good fullbacks or, or wingbacks, mm. and you've got Regulon on the left. Yeah. So yeah, you need another strong attacking or. Mm. Somebody with a bit of pace on that right hand side to balance it out, so it's yeah, not definitely. all one sided attack. So mm-hmm. no, it looks good. Um, just unlucky that we had a few bad luck moments and lost to a great um, Patrick Vieira side. Mm-hmm. I was I was raving about them last time on their recruitment of young players and mm. well, the change in their squad and well, look look what they've done. Well, one of those was. Um, Odds and Edouard, mm. oh. who we've we've raved about, basically again from FIFA. Summer, how yeah. how uh, are we going to shoehorn FIFA in every single episode? If it's relevant. I, but I how remember. else do you know about football? But it's fair it, enough. Well, you, I, you don't even need to talk about how good he is on FIFA because, I mean, he, he just transferred to Crystal Palace, but yeah. all his other offers were Chelsea, Man City, and it, well, like he apparently he very nearly offers. signed for. Brighton, who oh, really? are Crystal Palace's chief right. rival, yeah, yeah, um, and then you know obviously didn't do that, yeah, yeah, and went to Palace instead mm. and scored after fifty three seconds or something. Yeah, it was his first touch of the ball. <laughs> first touch of the ball for Crystal Palace. Brilliant, Yeah, um, <laughs> yeah. So I actually think one of the main reasons he chose Crystal Palace is because Patrick Vieira. I, I think Crystal Palace is going to have a lot of draw for young French players while Patrick Vieira is or there. Or just young people who have yeah, same watched different. the Premier yeah. League. Mm-hmm. Young, maybe, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. Any, oh. any young dudes that hate Spurs, they're going to... They're well, <laughs> also, also they picked up um, Connor Gallagher online. Oh, my and God. He yeah. had a, he had a fan, he had a fantastic game. Dude, Connor, like, I think... He was, he was probably the midfield player that we were missing in that game. Dude. He was just spreading the ball... You know, receive it, get rid of it to the right option. He was every, he was I'm, just making the moves. So. I, I totally agree. I think I think yeah. Conor Gallagher is absolutely legit, man. Yeah. Uh, you know, Chelsea's biggest problem now is how do you get Billy Gilmore and 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 these these players? How do you get them into well, the Chelsea squad? Mount, Mount can't really get a run either, though, can he? <laughs> yeah. Like you know, and there's another youth product of them, and it's just yeah. We were talking about that just before yeah. you got here. We were talking about how many players. Chelsea, Chelsea's youth academy is produced. It's unreal. It's it's so many players, man. And it, yeah, it's yeah, one it, of them. Besides like Barca and Madrid, it's one of the yeah, most productive. Definitely. Um, Isn't it because they got in trouble for a couple of years ago? Oh, I'm sure they've been I, in trouble. Am before. I right? I'm sure so. Chelsea Football Club's been in trouble before. <laughs> oh well, they yeah. They I think got that's in, what they got banned for, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Eventually, they, when they had Lampard in, like just before Lampard came, yeah, in, they, they he got, he got because, yeah, he got hit with the repercussions of it. Yeah, but yeah. Before that, it was something to do with the youth academy and the buying and selling of youth players. I that think they got it was done like for. the. I thought you know, it was dodgy, nego- up. dodgy negotiating, like yeah. uh, targeting them before they were eligible. able to yeah, sign this contract or that stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. But to be smart. Yeah, to be fair, they lost a lot of players in that same way too, though. They, they yeah, actually sure. lost a lot of... Um, well, we were just talking about before, uh, you know, have you heard of Jamal Musiala, who plays for Bayern Munich? Yes. Before we talk about later, he's a Chelsea player. He was at Chelsea Academy until he was 15. Sure. And then they, sw- yeah, and then they sniped him, yeah. I didn't know that. So, yeah, Chelsea just produced so many good players, man. And then Money Conor right. Gallagher is just the next one. He's yeah. a killer, man. He's awesome in yeah, that yeah. game. Very impressive. He is Very English. intelligent player. He is English, right? Ooh. I think so. I hope yeah. so. Yeah, is he not the younger brother of um, Noel? No. He's <laughs> been playing for Man City, mate. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Um, you little hooligan, yeah. come down here. I, yeah, I, I think Conor Gallagher's awesome, man. I think, uh, yeah, that's that's definitely one to chuck in your fantasy team, for sure. Yeah, and, here we go. The fantasy captain section making an <laughs> early appearance. <laughs> and... Oh, the only other thing I wanted to mention was that um, that was actually Zaha's very only, only goal scored against Spurs. That was his first one. Sure. Yeah, first of many. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mate. Oh. I I feel sorry for Saha. He's a good player. Um, yeah, he just hasn't reached the heights. Um, hopefully, yeah. with the new Palace look, he might get a bit more recognition for mm-hmm. his work. Um, yeah, I, and, well, yeah, get set on his ass a few more times. Hopefully, <laughs> well, I, th- I think Zaha's problem is that Palace, when Hodgson was in charge, they never seemed to get like serious backing it's it's almost like they they wouldn't buy other strikers they wouldn't buy other awesome players but now they've got uh, Eze hasn't played yet this season I think he's injured uh, he is yeah, he yeah, is but, injured but and I, I think player. he might be for another yeah, month or so but he's cool player he's awesome good player and as soon as you start lining up with someone something like Zahar Eze Edouard it's looking better it's yeah, yeah, rest cop- in peace, Christian Benteke. You're not getting back into the yeah, side. Yeah, and <laughs> and I and I, like his yeah. his spot could be gone. Like, yeah, but these you guys always are playing need competi- to keep, Yeah, these guys are playing for their spots. Yeah, you need competition for places, and that's that's fine. Mm. Um, I just wanted to finish up that section with um, Paddy V's wonderful quote. I never lose to Spurs. No, it's not true. It's not true. It didn't it's happen. A, it's not a real quote. Is it not no, a real it's quote? It's not a real quote. Oh, can we pretend that it, it is? This season? I, wish it, I wish it was. I wish it was. Look, no. okay, he didn't say it publicly. Oh, he insinuated it. Though. <laughs> <laughs> and also, yeah, it's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder what his record we'll as a to, coach. We'll have to find. Well, certainly one of one. Hmm. We'll have to find out what it, what his record as a player was against Spurs because yeah, yeah, Spurs as good as they are now were not that good when Arsenal were good. running running yeah. things yeah yeah okay so uh, the next section is the one where I get to run my gob um, mm-hmm. it's the Leeds 0 Liverpool 3 um, mm-hmm. section um, and the, uh, the the game got off to a very lively start you know we uh, we attacked. We had a lot of a lot of possession, a lot of crosses, a lot of balls into the box. Leeds dealt with it pretty well. Um, Allison was forced into a mm, one pretty decent save, and then I think about twenty minutes in, um, Mo Salah marked uh, disappearance with his one hundredth Premier League goal. Oh really? Yeah. Oh my god. One hundred and sixty appearances. That's, I, I th- that's- there's, um, I, th- I think he's the fifth fastest. Is he the fifth or sixth to, um, to make one hundred? And and the list of players above him, it's it's like you know, royalty of the yeah, Premier yeah, League. Yeah. It, it's like Henri, Aguero, Harry Kane, Shearer. <laughs> yeah. like, what, Go, guys what who come, were, guys who were all mm. strikers and yeah, genuine nines. Eh? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, apart yeah. from maybe Henri. To be fair, Henri is actually quite. A comparable yeah because but he always played in a pair though didn't he sort of yeah whether it was Burkamp or was he there with the right all possible? of them yeah they were, like, all, they were all kind of just do what end. you want <laughs> <laughs> ask ask Vieira <laughs> yeah uh, honestly Salah's Sal uh, contender for probably one of the best forwards in the league like I, I'd say so I think I think it's probably He's now so- now that Aguero has yeah. left, I think it's probably difficult to say. Mm. I mean, I know Ronaldo is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so mm. let's wait a season and then well, agree wait, or disagree. Well, let's wait a few matches. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. He, he but, would, yeah he's in that top, that top bracket. Let's wait yeah. until United play Spurs. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. like, like you say, so you've good. got your Canes, your Ronaldo, Salah, Bamford, like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, Salas just seems to be so... Con- he just seems to be adding consistency to his game. Like, he, he, he's, he, he scores every game, basically, right? Yeah, at this pretty, point. pretty much. Yeah, yeah. one and a half. Or, yeah. So reliable, man. That's that's amazing. Yeah. I th- what is it? What I say? 160 appearances. So, yeah. I mean, that's that's just... That's only the league. Mm-hmm. That's crazy. Yeah, oh, that's, that's crazy. Um, See, so yeah, we kind of continue to dominate it's difficult to say that that goal wasn't coming mm. um, and then after half time immediately after half time um, Fabinho smash one in 
and um, he barely ever does that because mm. you know defensive midfielder. Yeah. Uh, um, but yeah, it was nice. Nice to see. Um, nice to see some corners paying off for us. I think that's something that we haven't tended to really profit from in recent seasons. That it's been more the sort of Save brutal, it. brutal so, counter attack. Yeah. Save it for the Champions well, League. Uh. I suppose it's mainly because you didn't have Van Dyke in your squad last season, so well, he's probably the one winning all the hitters. That's true, but just in 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 general, we haven't been on top of the league, like you know, on top of the league for corner goals mm. since say Klopp came in. Yeah, we'll, we'll score some. I, I'd say that's more of a, a stylistic thing, though, like the way you guys play. I don't think. That, that's yeah, not, that's I, not something that... I agree. Yeah. Like, you know, it, it, that kind of thing can come as a, a, a trade-off because, you know, often we'll, say, play a short corner hmm. because that's how we play. Yeah. Um, but, you know, we we look at the way Van Dyke <laughs> dominates the six-yard box on attack and defence. There's no reason that that can't improve. There's no reason we can't be one of the most productive teams from corners. Fabinho is an imposing guy. Matip's an imposing guy. We, we could. Mm. There's no reason that it has to come at the expense of being a brilliant sort of counter pressing force. It's a corner. It's a set piece. It. I don't know who. Like, goals. Mm. That's yeah. the most and, important and thing. It's a chance, isn't it? It's, yeah. It's a given chance. You get to put a ball in a box, and say. What are you gonna? How are you gonna defend it? it it's pressure. It's yeah. just free pressure. So, yeah, I understand what you're saying. Like, Especially so quickly after half time, and you know, it's chance to put somebody on the back foot straight a, away. Yeah, yeah, when you're already on the back foot, it's a it's a chance to just go and say, "What are you gonna do now?" Yeah, we're gonna, two, we're two gonna nil, camp in your half like and we, watch you. Yeah, yeah, we've just we've just fucked you again. Yeah, um, and you know, set. The keeper, um, is it? How do you say it? Is it Melia, Melia, the Leeds keeper? Oh, okay, fine. Yeah, if, you, if you don't pass. know, you don't know. Something we should have covered in the international roundup, because he is uh, a France under twenty one oh. uh, player, oh, and right. they played the Faroe Islands, who are are shit. Yeah, Brentford Bees. The, the, the Brentford Bees would hump them. Oh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, France had 30 shots and scored one goal after like eight minutes or something like that. Um, Jeez. And then there was a big old lump forward from a, a pharaoh. A pharaoh. Um, Malia came out and tried to play Manuel Neuer for a bit. Completely scuffed it. Basically passed it to a, a Faroe Island forward <laughs> who shot from force. I say shot. He kind of scuffed his finish as well. So the ball tr- dribbled along the oh. ground and only just made it from 40 yards. It was their only shot. And a winner. And a winner. That's actually even better. Like, yeah. To score like that is hilarious. And obviously, it's the Fair Islands. It's this yeah. mi- micro nation in, in the sea. Mm-hmm. It, it's in. It's, your team is in the sea. Yeah, like half the team are like plumbers as Dolphins. well. Dolphins. Yeah. You, like, you know. They've all got they've all got full time jobs on top of playing football. <laughs> yeah, um, at under twenty one, maybe. Oh, yeah. Ma- but I know what you mean. Mm-hmm. It's like when the Iceland team was in the Euros, and it's like the goalkeeper was a dentist or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Lovely, lovely. Anyway, so so back to Liverpool on the Saturday afternoon. Mm. Um, Malia was, you know, having a good game. He was, you know, particularly frustrating to. Sadio Mane, uh, who eventually scored 92nd minute, and he, you know, it'd be good to see him capture some goal scoring form, which he mm. was not capturing last season. Because mm. I love Mane. Who doesn't mm. love Sadio Mane? Well, Look at his face. I feel like last season Sadio Mane started off real strong, and then just Salah was just sucking up all the goals, you know, like he just scored all the <laughs> yeah, goals. Yeah, but mm. that. Normally, Salah's been sucking up the goals, and Mane's been sucking up the goals as well. True. And true. then last season, just one of them was doing it. Just the Salah show. Yeah, just yeah. the yeah. Mm. Um. But 
you know, it, it happens. Good players have bad seasons or seasons where they don't contribute loads of goals. Mm-hmm. It, it's, it is what it is. And it, he's, he's Sadio Mane. He's a world-class player. Mm. He will be just fine. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, before we move on, I just wanted to uh, touch on the Harvey Elliott oh, injury. Yeah. Mm. It's a it's a real rough one, and I've, I've seen challenges w- worse than that this this weekend. Like uh, <laughs> I don't I, like I looked at the challenge initially. I didn't even think it was mm. that horrible, and then uh, I I don't know. I as bad as the injury is you know we'll we don't know when he might be back he might be gone the whole season mm. and, he said he had, a, he had surgery yeah and it sounded it. like it went yeah. well yeah successful surgery so yeah. it's good stuff so it's a long road back obviously obviously i wish for the best for him we all do but mm. can we judge red cards based on what the injury is or if there is an injury Oh, was there a recap for that? Yeah. Oh, I didn't. He know. was sent off. Oh, who did it? Um, I'm afraid I don't know how to pronounce it. Oh. I think it. I think <laughs> his name is Stroik. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, I think he's Dutch. S T R U I J K. I think that's how you spell it. I don't think it's how you pronounce it. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. From uh, from what I saw of it, you can kind of see where the red card has come from. Um, coming from the side and kind of cutting back on him a little bit, but yeah, I un- yeah, it's it's one of those it's it's an orange card. It's one of yeah. those ones where you can see how it becomes yeah. a red, mm. and that might be just the the like you said the reaction to the injury can can mm. force a, a ref to go oh that might have been a bit harder than I expected it was, um, but it's right on the verge of of yellow to to red. Mm. Um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I would. Yeah, I'm. I'm on the orange. Give him an orange card. <laughs> Give him five minutes off, and he can come back on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's yeah. it's a hard one. It it feels harsh on him because mm. I don't think any like, like you can tell that it's not a crazy bad challenge when sort of the game plays on and no Liverpool player runs over to. I'm going to go with to strike. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say that that's how he's pronounced. <laughs> Um, nobody ran over to him and started pushing him yeah, or yeah. anything like that. It was just, mm. it, it was a football challenge. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and shit happens. And yeah. unfortunately, it's happened to a really promising player mm. and one of our players. And being a, being a broken leg like that, you never know if you'll fully recapture all your all mm. your physical aspects of yeah well it took, it took Luke Shaw quite a while to get back after he broke his yeah. leg yeah um, exactly like but yeah. yeah just running can be completely different after an injury yeah, yeah. like that and For so sure. on and so forth so mm. yeah oh, well, and, and he is a fast kind of agile player too yeah. so it's kind it's of a- agility and it's dribbling yeah. and skills I can't say so it'll probably yeah. take him a while I'd a little say. bit but mm. that's fine he's he's got he, time and he's at a, a club with world class facilities, facilities. Yeah. oh yeah, yeah absolutely no yeah. worries getting the best treatment yeah mm. um okay so let's move on to some of the other premier league um stuff mm. let's go with arsenal who, they actually uh, won a game who, who won a game finally got, got got some points so the the um the, the shit talk on arsenal will be less, le- less. you know yeah there'll be less it'll still be there but it'll be less well, there's only one nil on on norwich you know, yeah, well, that's not, that's right. You've got it's a, a stunning win. <laughs> you you got to click, keep a clean sheet. Mm. That's right. That's true. Yeah. It's look. It's it's hard, isn't it? Sometimes your your team's in a bit of a rut mentally, and I think mm. you talked about Man United not having elite mentality. You, Arsenal don't even have middling mentality. Yeah, they don't have any leaders really. They, like, they could do with Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, and that's yeah. like, as a striker. The biggest, the biggest, <laughs> the biggest leader in their team is like Granit Xhaka, and he doesn't even understand what like how tackles work. Yeah, the, the, the biggest <laughs> he leader, tries too hard. Who, who who plays three out of every five games because he's suspended? Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah, it's it, it's hard. It's, 
it's, a, it's a worry, man. But that, yeah, it's one of those things where you can see what they need to do. They just need to invest some money and actually give the team a, a complete reboot. Well, they actually spent the most money out of any. Yeah, team. but they didn't do yeah. it well. From yeah, like, <laughs> but the, I, I, I think it comes from the top. There's, there's an issue there that they need to sort out. Before. You're, you're right that they need to invest the money, but they needed to invest the money last season mm-hmm. and the season before that and the season before that and the season before that when they they didn't. They yeah. the, the, well, they bought they bought a bummy, eh? Sure, like yeah. they've had like improvements. Uh, the, and then these guys aren't reaching you know someone like Leno someone like um, I don't know any defender uh, someone like any midfielder you know the, their front line name for name looks mm. looks wonderful if their front line is Aboma Yang Lacazette Saka that's good yeah, throw, that's throw really Pepe good. in there yeah you, yeah, you, you should be still reach. in that top six throw Odegaard in there yeah you know there's there's but, good players in the front third of the pitch. Yeah, the, it's the back two thirds that I'm worried about. The and and the the quality of the um, you know curating of this of this talent, the young talent specifically that they they bring in. They, you know, the club is just a bit of a shambles. So, are you, so let me get this right. Are you saying that Arsenal signing Tomiyasu? doesn't make them title challenges now (laughs) (laughs) very very good um yeah that's precisely what i'm saying that's yeah that's exactly the problem though isn't it they're signing they're signing squad players that aren't capable of the people they're replacing that's kind of right i mean like they they are they are replacing the people that are leaving but they're not doing it to a quality extent um and i think it i think it starts it's not Arteta's problem like he might be saying get this person get that person but I think from the top the club's had issues since Finger was there um, with recruitment and um, what they did on the pitch and you just look at their fans were all against Finger for a long time and you can see it going the same way they did it to um, what uh, El, um, what's his name oh Emery uh, Emery yeah Oh, yeah, yeah, they did it to him too. Like, they turned on yeah. them so quick. Oh, yeah, they, they was do. so good for them too, man. They're a very yeah. fickle set of fans, I think, the Arsenal fans. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, I just think it well, starts with the, the the club is in the boardroom. They need to sort something out there first before yeah. they before they go and sack anyone. Um, mm. Yeah, I don't think anyone doubts Arteta well, has a footballing brain on him. Well, so. it's, like, it's not Mikel Arteta's fault that sort of... You, okay, like going back to the Brentford game, I know it's four weeks ago now, but it's not Mikel Arteta's fault that Brentford do a long throw in and Ben White can't head a football. It's it's not his fault. Like yeah. I know you know he's responsible for signing the team, but I, I agree to a certain extent. Like I think that I think Arteta is a very good tactical coach, and not and a motivator. That's it. Yeah, not a motivator. That's it. Yeah, you need yeah. to be both. Mm. To be a top yeah. coach, you know, if yeah. if Arsenal want to be the Arsenal that we mm. that we know about. Plus, the other thing too is like all of Arteta's experience prior to Arsenal was like, uh, let's see how this works when we have eleven Lamborghinis on the field, you know, like, and now he's playing with like eleven minis. Well, you know, <laughs> maybe the, like the Italian job. There's <laughs> <laughs> so, a mini coupe. They've got any Italians, have they? Uh, maybe that's the problem. They don't they have any Italian. steel. They don't have any steel on their team. No, that's, that's the, that's so the they, issue. They they need a hard. So you're, like, saying so you want need, sign. Oh, <laughs> you're not Italian. Maybe, <laughs> if they're gonna if they're gonna pay me the money, <laughs> they're not. <laughs> oh man! All right. So now we know that you know there's a price for Ash to betray Spurs. We know that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah that's, <laughs> there is a price, and it is not that high. <laughs> so see, send your offers, ladies, <laughs> <laughs> gentlemen. Right, cool. So that's the um, the weekly Arsenal ribbing. Yep. Out of the way. Pretty mild this week, I gotta say. Yeah. yeah. I mean, fair, fair enough. They and, did win. And poor Norwich. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Poor Norwich. They, they're the team that that rose in the table the most from twentieth to fifteenth. Hmm. Sure, they actually made it that high. Yeah, but might oh. be sixteenth. Jeez. 
Norwich are destined to go down though, are they? Oh, they they're fucked. Yeah, I just can't see them Scoring holding on. A goal. Yeah, I guess so. Um, like, are they just? I. They look like the the team that's come up, and they've had canaries you know, in a coal mine. Yeah, <laughs> they've had one or two go, and they just don't look like they've got that same. Verve. Yeah, you know the Norwich we last saw in the Premier League, they had a little bit of fight to them, and they don't look. And like they went down anyway. Year. Yeah, and they just don't look like they've got it this year. So yeah, no, I think you're right. Poor guys, but they'll survive. They'll be a yo-yo team forever. So. Well, even though Brentford did beat Arsenal, I think it is very possible at this stage that the three teams that came up might be the three teams to go down. Because you know, yep. maybe Watford's maybe. kind of struggling too. Uh, we'll see. But yeah, Watford. And... Look, we'll we'll get onto that towards the <laughs> arse end of the season, eh? Mm-hmm. Um, so, quick one for for Brighton and our, our young man Leandro Trossard scoring in the 90th minute. Mm. Pretty decent goal. Honestly, um, to as down much the as, Brentford A's. As much as I, you know, I think Trossard's a, a decent player, but he honestly must have one of the lowest conversion rates I've ever. Because so many times, I, I've watched matches where he's hit the post like four or five times in, <laughs> in one match. Like he just can't finish. If, if he could finish, he would be a killer. So he just needs the goal to be a little bit wider, mm. or, or you know, to shoot a bit better. Or he just needs to. Be a little bit better. Yeah, yeah, probably more like <laughs> probably more like that one because they're not gonna. They're, I can't imagine the referee going before the game. You know what, Leandro? See that goal? Just pull it out a bit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Move, move the cones another. Move <laughs> the cones. But, but like I'm saying, if that's the thing, finishing is basically his only problem. If if he can sort that out, yeah. Uh, honestly, that that's all all Brighton really needs. Like Brighton can well from him, <laughs> but but I mean Brighton will keep a clean sheet. Yeah, and then if he's scoring one goal, then that's all they need. You yeah. know, like it's see Brighton is a team that if they keep doing as they're doing, and they keep because they kept Eve Basuma, didn't they? Yeah, they slowed yeah. Eve Yeah. So if they keep their good players mm-hmm. and sort of revolve in and out mm-hmm. a couple of good ones, sell for profit. Yep. Still have Lamptey as well. He'll yeah. probably go for a bomb. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, if they keep doing that, there's no reason they can't basically finish 16th every single season. Assuming yeah. that Arsenal don't mm-hmm. finish there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, if they, if they almost copy that, um, that Southampton style of recruitment where they recruit young and well and mm-hmm. sell for good profit... Yeah. Um, you know, that same sort of thing. Beat the teams below you. Try and keep a clean sheet against top teams. Yeah, they have that same sort of yeah building of a of a good good mid table side. So mm. yeah, they're actually an annoying team to mm. burst. Absolutely, they yeah, are. Yeah, they coached. Yeah, they coached well. Mm. Is it Graham Potter still there? Yeah, Is, yeah, yeah. We were linked with them in the summer at one mm. stage. Um, mm. Yeah, he's so he's got. People that admire him. He's not a not a horrible coach. Yeah, huh, good. Bloke. He's done he's done some stuff in Germany. Cast a few spells. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> you're a wizard, get Graham. <laughs> <laughs> that nearly worked. Oh, if yeah, only yeah, if yeah. it was Gary Potter, yeah. I'd be. <laughs> yeah. You're a wizard, Gary. Awesome. If it, if Gary his name Potter. was Gary Potter, I'd be losing my shit. Ever. I'd become a Brighton fan. He will he will forever be known as Gary Potter on this podcast. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> There, there, there it is, ladies and gentlemen. You heard it. Instead of an owl, he has a seagull. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful. Um, so yeah, moving um, slightly west. Uh, Romelu Lukaku, his his show goes on. Yeah, yeah. With Chelsea, just, just blistering form, man. He, he, yeah, he can't. It, it's harder for him to not score. At this, at this. Yeah, I, I wonder if he's tried. <laughs> well, he used to try a lot back in the day. <laughs> uh, but you had yeah. some specific criticism for Sal Naguez. Uh, well, it just seems like one of the worst debuts I've seen in a while. Like, it wasn't very good. It's pretty shocking. Yeah. Um, Couldn't... Sub, subbed off, like, sub, subbed off. Yeah. Um, Hooked at half time. Yep. Yeah, just like, nah, screw that. Bring on Kovacic, and it seems like. Well, maybe maybe Kovacic realised that you know they've brought in Saul and that's you know a threat, a threat. to his position. So yeah. he's like, screw this, I got to score. <laughs> I, <laughs> I got to go out there and score my first Stamford Bridge goal. Yeah, that's it. That, when you said that, I was like, 
I'm sure you've yeah. read the wrong thing there. That's yeah, I, yeah, I would have thought he would have scored before then. When I when I first read but then it, when you when you think about it, how many yeah. other like attacking players do I have in mm. their squad over the years that mm. he's not? Yeah. Well, he's like a he's like that kind of classic midfielder. Like he's a central he's almost, midfielder. He's, he's almost quiet, midfielder. just a quiet midfield does his job. Eh? Yeah. But, but yeah, but in that game, man, it's like I was watching. You know, like he's on peak, peak yeah. Luka Modric or something. He was yeah. just kind of creaming it. Like, yeah. Uh, so I think he's pretty like there's no way you're taking my my position from me. So, <laughs> well maybe he saw Conor Gallagher like cream it for Crystal Palace too, and he was like, holy shit, <laughs> like, we should <laughs> sign him. There's all these guys. He's like, this, yeah, well, if Billy Gilmore and Conor Gallagher in there too. Like they've got like seven or eight players competing for two positions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you know, and then you know, and Ch- Chalobah as well too. Is it Chalobah or Chaloba? I'm not. I'm not yeah. really sure. Either way, they've got him, Trevor, Trevor Chalobah in there too. And Whenever I look at his profile, he's list, seems to be listed as a centre back rather than yeah. a well, when he midfielder. Played, when he scored his goal, I thought he was on, a full back. No. I, I think, <laughs> yeah, I think he's just a versatile. Player. All just things, one of those guys, all though. things to all men. But yeah, so I think he, he played. I think he was playing like a holding midfielder role when he scored that banger in the oh, first in the first game. So yeah, I think he'll be like a utility kind of guy. But filling gaps. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, honestly, look, I, I think I said at the start, and uh, Chelsea looked terrifying, and I, I hate that that's the fact. <laughs> and now that they got Lukaku, and he's just putting them in like, like effortlessly, it, scary, yeah. very scary. Team. Scoring for fun. Yeah, yeah. Maybe we, can we add him to the Ronaldo Arsenal counter? Mm. <laughs> yeah, just. Lukaku watch. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Let's just make it who single players that score more goals than Arsenal. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's 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 go with that. Yeah, cool. So we can list we can list thirty players how before big, yeah. we list Arsenal. I was gonna say how big how big a screen do you want? Oh we can we can do <laughs> a slideshow. Because at the moment there's quite a few. That's fine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um which which leads us to our last Premier League game, which is uh Everton Burnley. Um I caught only the second half of this one, but um, from <laughs> from what I hear, that's that, that was the right thing to do. Um, and I specifically wanted to highlight um, highlight it through the eyes of one Andros Townsend, mm. um, who started the start of the half with um, a big run into Burnley's sort of attack uh, defensive position, got um, hugged by Kieran Westwood, who received a booking um, then on on Burnley's counter attack Townsend received a booking himself for basically doing the exact same thing um, <laughs> this 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 wound him up quite visibly he was uh, arguing with the ref and probably you know he he was pissed off to receive the yellow he thought it was harsh uh, then Burnley immediately scored and it sort of he was like Again, fuming. <laughs> so about two minutes later, the ball goes over to him on the on Everton's right. Big old cross in. Michael Keane scores. It, their first goal was actually nearly identical to Burnley's. Mm-hmm. It was amazing. It was just like watching the other go- the other mirror image. So maybe they were like, once Burnley scored, they were like, hey, maybe we should try that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> See these goals? What if there were more of them? <laughs> um. And as previously referenced, the, the very next play, um, Townsend takes the ball where he was fouled by Westwood <laughs> before and screams one in the top bloody bin, mate. <laughs> yeah, amazing goal, amazing goal. It, if not goal of the season so far, definitely goal of the weekend. There's been some bloody good goals so far, mate. They they're really, really have. Mm. And, um, Sport of a choice. Yeah. But that was yeah. definitely so, the uh, best goal of the weekend, in my opinion. So, am I right in this too that Andros Townsend is a new signing as well, right? He is. Yeah, yeah. Um, and has pretty much had an instant impact. He's mm. he's played well. He's also scored against the, um, I think it was Huddersfield they had in the AFL Cup. Oh yeah. Um, and gotten through. Scored in that too. Oh yeah. Yep, scored in that one. Yeah, so cool. he's he's off to. Off to a flyer, basically. Just Everton, man, they're so good at just, just scraping all of these players Recycling. off the pavement and <laughs> getting something out of yeah. them. Like, yeah. 
<laughs> yeah, you have guys like Iwobi there. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. The thing is, so, it's weird you say that because he came from Crystal Palace. Yeah. Which you'd say that Everton's a step up, right? Yeah. yeah. So. And then he's better. <laughs> yeah. 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 So he, has he found his level? Who knows? Maybe. Oh, um, maybe sometimes you just find the right team too. You know, you're getting the right balls. You're getting yeah, and just the Benitez factor. Like well, yeah, a good good coach just good going. Point. Hey, good Burnley point. scored that goal. You can do it too. Yeah, mm-hmm. you like, see what they did. <laughs> yeah. You can do it. As yeah. soon as there's a goal score, Benitez just yelling, "Do that! Do that!" <laughs> <laughs> Andros. Mm. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. Dice, can I have your team sheet, mate? How do, how do you do that? <laughs> That's right. <laughs> um, getting, getting, attacking, attacking uh, information advice off. from Sean <laughs> Dice from Burnley. <laughs> attacking, <laughs> attacking advice from St- Sean Dice. Oh, love it. <laughs> and then, of course, um, another signing, uh, Gray, Damari Gray. Yeah, yeah score. Another one. Not another one. Yeah. See, <laughs> what is this like? Mm-hmm. Great um, sort of transfer Great business, yeah. window from Everton. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's because they heard they were going to be treated well by the Brazilian FA. Mm. In the end, all the all of the Brazilians played anyway. Yeah, yeah. So, so who who cares? Who knows? Mm. Right. Um, um, just one last thing on the Premier League. Yeah. Um, the Manchester City and Leicester game. Mm-hmm. Um, bit of a scrappy game. They they won what City won one nil, um, they looked average blah blah blah, didn't really care too much about the game. Um, at the end, Grealish was going to give his shirt to somebody in the crowd, and he had had a bit of stick through the game for being a diver, mm. um, and just so happens that the Leicester mascot saw him walking over, and as he walked past him. The mascot dived behind him, <laughs> and it is the funniest thing to watch. The mascot just fully spread out and just dives behind Grealish, and the fans just go nuts. I assume, it's so I funny. assume that the the mascot is effectively just a man and a giant. Fox. I think. I think. Yeah, it's it is, such I, a giant ferret. Yeah, I think it is. I think it is Jamie Vardy's brother. Like he is. He is that funny. You've got Vardy stealing people's celebrations when he scores against them, and you've got the mascot just doing shit like that like Some that makes me want to be a mascot yeah. yeah he just died look it up he just dies behind yeah I'll have to, I'll look it up it's so amazing. funny you know you know, in, in Britain you can go into like a betting shop and just ask them to, to like create you odds for like weird things to happen mm. that wouldn't yeah. be on like you know a normal bet might be Mohamed Salah to score a goal but an abnormal bet would be you know what are the odds that Jamie Vardy will do Ronaldo's celebration if he scores at Old mm. Trafford? Oh. Like, what odds would you give me that? I 100% he will do it. If he scores against United, he's 100% doing it. I, I, 100%. <laughs> you know what? It's it's not what football's all about, but it absolutely is what this show is, is it, all about. Is it, last, is it last season he did the, the wolf howl at Wolves? That was when the, he scored... It was the first game of this season. Or was it? <laughs> <laughs> He loves it's like it. what banter, eh? Right? He is he's my favourite player called Jamie. He is the mm. best Red Bull advocate ever. He like, must be. Um yeah, so that that was my my non-fo- recap non- my recap of the <laughs> Man City, yeah, Man City game. Awesome. So yeah, look it up. <laughs> and if there's any mascots out yeah. there, we need one. I'll so. track a, I'll track a link in the description when I find the video. So um, good. Right. Yeah, yeah. So, um, <laughs> all right, so you'll move on to the Champions League then, I guess. Oh, and b- before just before oh. the Champions League, we have our first ever organic Mourinho watch. Oh, I oh, yes. might as well cover this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so it's Mar- uh, Jose Mourinho's one thousand one thousandth club management game. Um, uh, Roma were at home to Sassuolo. They scored first, and then were pegged back, and in the ninety second minute. Uh, Stefan Al Sharawi, I I still look the Al- guy's Al- Sharawi? the Al- guy's twenty eight and I still have no idea how to pronounce yeah, his name. Is he only twenty eight? Uh, again, I don't know about that. Oh, he's been around for years. Eh? Yeah, Seems yeah, like yeah. it. Yeah. So anyway, he, he put he put in the winner. He put in the winner, ninety second minute, and uh, Jose was off just mm. down the down the touch line. Yeah. Giving it the big one. Yeah, reminiscent Straight. of the Porto uh, mm. Manchester. Yeah. 
United Big, game. Bigger game. Yeah. Bigger game, you might say. He's in yeah. there celebrating with his team, you know. Like yeah. He probably ran up and hugged the ball and said, like, yeah. you know, thanks, guys, you just won me the game. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I told you I was special. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, so gave, for, gave Tammy a little kiss. Yeah, so, so from what I understand, like, yeah, he celebrated so hard and, like, went, you know, absolutely insane and loved it. That he afterwards he actually went and hugged and apologized to the Sassuolo <laughs> coach for, just... for excessive celebration, you know, which is something that Mourinho has pretty much con- <laughs> you know condemned. Uh, like yeah, other yeah, coaches, yeah, spoken down the coach that did that, he was like all over them, like <laughs> like that's absolutely unacceptable yeah. celebration. <laughs> it's a it, it, no respect. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. See, Big Sam, he showed no respect to me. Yeah, man. I bet. I, w- I, d- I wonder how many pizzas he want- ate after that one. Eh? Like, Mate, he was <laughs> all over it. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. And not only is it, you know, his 1,000th game, celebrates like only Jose can. Mm. Roma are top of the league. Yeah. Five wins from five. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's so good in Italy, man. Like, it's yeah. his, his record's yeah, amazing. Unfuckwithable. Yeah, yeah. Look, just, yeah, imagine... Like, the thing is, Roma are a team that deserve to be in the Champions League. And they've, yeah. they've, they've sort of dropped off a little bit over the last few years. And Jose, Jose could do it. Get him back in the Champions League. Which is right. kind of form. Hell yeah. Yep. Uh, just on Mourinho, after the game, he had a quote of his celebration. <laughs> and it is, um, I wasn't 58 years old, but 10, 12, or 14. <laughs> when you start dreaming about a career in football, I ran like I did. I was running like a child. <laughs> <laughs> Jose, I agree. Yeah. I love I, it. Beautiful man. If everyone could run like a child, I'll be okay with it. That mm-hmm. should be the only way you should run from now on. If, it, if anything, you should not get three points for your win unless you celebrate like that. Yes. Mm-hmm. If, if a 90th minute winner goes in, you should be allowed to jump into the crowd. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Like that, like that clip we watched of Troy Deeney. Like, oh my sorry. god! <laughs> oh, that's another one we're gonna like. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Look, that's that's a different thing for a different time. Yeah, okay. But okay. it's a great idea. That was a good teaser. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. You don't open the curtain too far. Yeah. <laughs> um. So now. I oh, so now we're moving on to the Champions. To uh, sorry to blue ball you, but we're going on to the Champions League. Mm, hey, wouldn't be the first time. The um, <laughs> <laughs> Do you want me to start this one as well? I would love it if you did. Okay. Uh. Yeah. So this one. <laughs> Certainly not as uh, dominant as our, as our last match. Started well. Um, yeah, well, and it, honestly, it actually started really well. I thought that we were looking pretty comfortable. We, I don't know if we were necessarily looking like we were going to dominate young boys. Uh, as a weird sentence I never thought I'd ever say. Uh, but, <laughs> um, you know, Ronaldo scored this goal. Amazing, amazing football brain on that run. It yeah. was like the perfect run hit. Literally, the offside is like an, he's onside by like an inch. It's perfect. Yeah. Bruno Fernandes, an insanely intelligent pass. That's amazing goal. Love that. That was awesome. Looking great. And then, of course, uh, Aaron Wan Bissaka has a very, very clumsy challenge. The sack. And yeah, earns his first red card for the team. Uh, yeah. And certainly stop. not. Yeah. Certainly not in his. And, game really to get yeah red and, cards and, and honestly I, I watched it I, I watched the the tackle so many times because you know uh, you do this you have to and like it's definitely a red card I can't argue with it it's it's just clumsy like if you you go over the ball like that it's just you know you're just gonna hurt someone so the 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 Champions League is actually a lot harsher on these uh on, on for red cards and things like that than yeah. the Premier League so it, it that's the thing. If it was the Premier League, maybe he might have gotten away with it, but it's still pretty fucking bad, and it looked like it fucking hurt. Um, and it, yeah, it, it it just sort of was real clumsy. He's just trying to control the ball, he loses it, and it just happens. And he's distraught. Like he he can't he can't handle it. Like oh, it's yeah. he doesn't want to leave the pitch. Like he, he he's they never do. It's like he's it's like he's praying that it's going to get overturned yeah. or something. Like, it's, he doesn't want to leave because it's like, what if, what if they changes his mind? Like, <laughs> what, what if I just look at the referee and he just goes, nah, yeah. I'm kidding. He, yeah, honestly, and then he, he looks so, he felt so bad, he's like apologising as much as he could and everything. Like, it's, yeah, it really sucked. And then, I think ultimately it's fair to say that that sort of 
wrecked the game for us. That sort of screwed us up. Yeah. Because immediately after that, it was um, tactical sub. So Jaden Sancho was axed for Diego Dello. Who, you know, we yeah. just... And we swapped to... And then at half time, Varane came on. Van der Beek came off for Varane. Mm. So we swapped to five at the back. So mm. the plan was essentially just to ride out this one now. Yeah. And, um, and, and actually, i got to say, Van der Beek uh, played very poorly anyway. So I, it's not, not a good sign. That was kind of one of his big chances. Um, bit of shame. But so we'll see what happens with that. I don't know. Um, and then, yeah, the game carries on and they get to the 70th minute and. Um, by this point, young young boys uh, carving us. Well, I could I could be wrong about the exact number, but I, I think the shots on target. Was oh, we had we had two shots. They had eighteen. Eighteen. Yeah. Eighteen. Uh, yeah. Eighteen shots, and then which for you know I know they're the Swiss champions. I don't mean to disrespect, mm. but that's incredible. They were. Um, I can't remember too. They were also like. Um, they were, they, they were on a run. They had like five wins in a row or something. They were they were on really good form yeah. at the time. And um, yeah, I can't I can't remember the name of the goal scorers because whenever I try to Google young boys, I just the FBI knocks on my door every time. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you who assisted the second one though, Jesse Lingard. You're skipping ahead. <laughs> 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 oh, see, yeah, that's the thing. So at around seventy minutes or so. Ollie, Ollie decided to make some subs uh, when and he decided to do subs you know to give chances to people lower down the picking order you yeah. know we got we got you know Lin, Lingard on and such when I, I think it would have been a much better move at that point to secure the game you know bring on I, I don't think you should have taken Ronaldo off just because of the threat that he yeah he's always the a threat the pressure he puts on of the course. other team because um, after that, yeah, we, it just it just started to crumble. Like the first goal went in, and then this, and then the, and then the plan became, well, we'll settle for a draw. Yeah. And then, in the ninety second minute, Jesse Lingard, sloppy sloppy back pass, just didn't have enough sauce on it. You mean a through ball? Yeah, and then it, yeah, it was basically a through ball for for their player, and 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 the funny thing is too, he even scuffs the shot, so like. <laughs> he was trying to shoot right and he scuffs it and it goes left so De Gea completely goes the wrong way doesn't yeah yeah. yeah, and, yeah. and to be fair their, their first goal was like quite it was like a god tier instinct reaction goal right and De Gea had like no chance so yeah it's sort we sort of like fell apart um one thing I I was going to mention too was that strangely enough that match was played on sports turf Oh yeah, so their their home stadium is sports turf all it's the time. Like yeah, yeah, and I, mean, I, I really don't like that. Like, uh, um, it's the future. Do you I think so? so? I I genuinely believe it's the future for those smaller clubs. Yeah, 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 for sure. Um, but that's it. It doesn't. The turf doesn't diminish. Deteriorate. Um, yeah. Weather wise, yeah. You know, if it snows, it's not going to get waterlogged. It's yeah. not going to. It's well, not going to get horrible muddy patches in it. You don't have to reseed it every season. From what um, I understand, it's quite rough on the ankles, though. It's like trying to turn on it. It's quite difficult. and Because um, I don't know if the bo- the boots aren't necessarily designed for turf. We have different boots. Do yeah. they have different yeah, boots? Yeah, yeah sure. So you just wear molded instead of stud? They were wearing studs. Yeah, Some well, kind of studs. Their, I don't know if they're fault. different or that's not. That's their fault for being shit. Yeah, well, we're, no, I'm we're just saying shirts. it's just not. It's just not it's like, turf. We're turf. They should have shirts. won anyway. That's that's like it's not an right. issue for Ronaldo to go buy a hundred pair, hundred dollar pair of boots <laughs> yeah, a yeah, week yeah, before yeah. a game. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I I don't know. I just think sports turf is just not as good. I think it's just an inferior product. I just think that's a that's that's my gripe really. Yeah. Um. So, yeah. What did I write down? I wrote down a bunch of things while watching it. Oh, so right. So, uh, Ronaldo's goal in that game that set another record, and this is a kind of interesting one. So that was the. The longest period of time between Champions League goals for the same club, right? So that was yeah, twelve over twelve years <laughs> since Ronaldo had last scored for us in yeah, the Champions League, good. and that before that record was held by Javier Zanetti, who oh, went eleven my years with, eleven years without scoring a Champions League goal. But that was while he stayed at the same. He club. stayed at the same yeah. club. <laughs> Ronaldo actually transferred to other clubs in the meantime. Yeah, but so that's pretty insane. Twelve years since his last goal. Should not count as a new club. 
Should it not count as a new club? No, it's the same club. He's played, uh, it's the same yeah. club, dude. Nah, but like <laughs> what different. Do you mean? But like you said there, there's yo, know, you've taken a record off a guy who's who oh, stayed, stayed at one at club. <laughs> like oh. took oh. took a took a record off a fucking legend. He's fine. He's yeah, good enough without the that record. <laughs> dude, the thing is Ronaldo's turned that record into a positive. Before the record was a negative, right? It was bad that Zanetti hadn't scored in eleven years. But the fact that Ronaldo scored after twelve years while well, not being it, like, because he wasn't at the club. That's a, now the record's good. You know? He's turned it into a positive rather than a negative stat. Thank you, uh, Ronaldo PR team. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. Ronaldo <laughs> on your voice. This boys. is Ronaldo Propaganda <laughs> Network. <laughs> yeah. um, so, oh, so I've also got here, so that was, that was Ronaldo's 788th goal, like, professional goal, and his 135th Champions League goal. Ridiculous. Absolutely insane. Um, yeah. How many goals did he score in the 12 years? Oh, just, damn it, I didn't write that <laughs> down. Why do you ask for the stat I don't have? That's bad. Um, at least four. At least. Yeah. Uh, and that's uh, just finals. So there was also there was also a penalty shout in that game. And, you know, a lot of people were accusing Ronaldo of diving. And, uh, you know, <laughs> he, that has happened in the past. I'll, that's all I'll say. Ask, um, ask the fox but I don't know it was it was really hard for me to tell it, it, on another day it could have definitely been a penalty and that would have changed the game we would have been we would have been two up and yeah, it kills the game yeah yeah but then you can make those changes Lingard comes on at a positive it's different yeah, yeah negative to, to a positive and yeah, yeah. yeah it changes the whole game yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I'm just facetious I, there Ash I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I've just written down boys two men yeah brilliant I love it oh. yeah. It's gonna be the I, I, he don't Bangers. know. I don't Boys know. two, man one. Yeah, I don't know any of their songs, <laughs> so I can't make a good reference oh, here. You just reminded me that um, one thing I noticed while watching the match was the crowd was amazing. Were they singing "Boys to Men"? <laughs> oh, they, they were just never stopped the whole game. They, they were just shouting, screaming, singing the whole time, and they had this drum like yeah. that was just this pounding drum that was just going hard, and it was like it was giving me like war flashbacks to like. <laughs> Do you remember when you played the first Crash Bandicoot and there was the levels when the boulder chases after you? That's what every minute on that pitch felt like. Like yeah. with those drums in the background, like right behind, literally right behind De Gea's I'm goal. Having, I'm having flashbacks now. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. yeah. I, I, just drum, I yeah. literally thought you were going to say it goes from the flashbacks when you land on the beach in Gallipoli. <laughs> I, that's, I, that's what I thought you were going to say. <laughs> you, you weren't there, Gage. Get over it. Well, I could have said like Medal of Honor front line when we <laughs> you land on the beach in Normandy. <laughs> but yeah, yeah. No, honestly, yeah, it was just that... Uh, that was amazing. That was one of the coolest crowds I'd seen. That was that was, that was really awesome that they had that that much energy, and they're right behind De Gea screaming at him. And you know, I think ultimately it helped a lot. Um, and the only other thing I have written down here was um, the name of their right back, which I thought was funny. His name was Sylvan Hefty. <laughs> Pretty good. Yeah, yeah, Hefty. He's was a, he a chonky boy? He's a chonk boy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, that's 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 my that's my summary from the from the match. I guess mm. big drum and hefty chonk. Yeah. Kind of uh, sucks. Y- I want to young that, young chonk boys. Mm. Yeah. Oh, actually, luckily one thing about that is um, the other teams that group, Villarreal and Atalanta drew. So I mean, we're only one point behind the the, t- the uh, two ben. better teams mm. in the group. So young boys having three points isn't necessarily. That's, not... a, that's a nice Arsenal mentality. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we have no we have no points, but we're still like no one else has no one else has heaps of points at this stage. It's like we have no points, but show some fucking respect. Yeah. Right? <laughs> to, to, to be fair, Arsenal would lose to young boys as well. Yeah, yeah. The Vinger would there was there hit sign them. What about the Vinger boys? <laughs> <laughs> What a mashup, Venga boys and boys to men. Yeah. <laughs> Look, it's it's the album that we've all wanted for years. Oh, that's a hell of a mixtape. <laughs> all right. So speaking of mixing things up, yeah, um, we'll just sort of run through some other Champions League games and then finish with Liverpool. Um, Sevilla versus Salzburg was amazing, notably for uh, four penalties in the first half. Um, mm two of which were missed by Salzburg and then one each scored um, and then old again you've told me how to pronounce it in is it in Nesri 
In, I, I don't know if that's right, but it's like in in this in this series. In okay, this well, series. Heb, yeah. a severe player, mm. um, tried to earn a fifth penalty, and was um, booked for doing a little dive, doing a little Grealish. Mm. Good, <laughs> good. <laughs> the, the fox was there. <laughs> He's in the VAR room. Yeah, that'd be amazing. <laughs> Just mashing the big red button. Yep. Penalty. <laughs> well, no, no, no penalty. No he penalty. Got, he got no penalty. Um, so that one finished one all. Uh, well, that got him sent off, didn't it? It did. It was yeah, his yeah, second yeah. booking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Idiot. <laughs> Idiot. Yeah. Sent off for a dive. That really sucks. Um, uh, your your second team, Gage Ajax. Mm, yeah. Um, very top. Sporting. Um, Five one. Sebastian Hilaire. Yeah. Four Heck. goals on oh, was... on Champions League debut. Amazing. So, so um, you know, West Ham striker. Yeah, that, um, that's they funny. should sign him. He's, <laughs> cool. That's it. He was like, he, he barely did anything for West Ham. I think that's how many he scored for yeah. West Ham. And then just ever since he's been at Ajax, including from January last year, yeah, he's crusher. he's been amazing. Crusher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. So um, yeah, so good. I love. It's great to see Ajax. Good Ajax on him. Like that. Yeah. Um, uh, Sheriff. I think that's how you pronounce it. They're from, um, oh God. Well, isn't their logo like a sheriff? It's a badge. sheriff badge. I'd say it's sheriff. <laughs> it's a sheriff badge. Amazing. Yeah, yeah. So that was their first Champions League game oh. against Shakhtar, yeah. and they won. Wow. Turned up. First ever? Yeah. Wow. First time oh. they've ever qualified. Oh, congratulations. So so they did indeed <laughs> shoot the sheriff. Welcome to the elite tier. Yeah. yeah. Welcome. <laughs> With young balls. Yeah. <laughs> um, City, City played Leipzig, uh, and I... I believe Grealish became the first English player to score and assist on Champions League debut since um, Wayne Rooney. Oh, so, good shit. Yeah, there you go. Mm. Just one for him. And of course... So he didn't dive in that game? I probably... He, <laughs> well, Sith, he got a penalty, so he probably did. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, either, either him or Raheem. Yeah. So... Yeah. You know, one in two chance. Yeah. Well, um, they have no other forward, so... And then old... Um, Nkunku of Leipzig scored all their goals so yeah, yeah. a hat trick in a losing team and like an emphatically losing team yeah um and we have PSG versus Club Bruges mm. the first time we've seen Messi Mbappe and Neymar line up in the same starting 11 and uh it didn't work sell them get rid of them mm. yeah it's tra- yeah that's, that's it trash because it was a draw wasn't it yeah yeah one all Mbappe yeah. scored but um no one yeah, else did. That's right. Yeah, that's that's a weak man. Again, uh, like I said about um, Manchester United, PSG, same thing. No excuses this time. Yeah. Will, no excuses, will it work? Will it work? Eventually. Because, mm. yeah, you know Neymar and Messi can play together. Yeah. So. Well, the only problem is it's the, the egos. There's a lot of egos, you know, in that team. Because Sergio Ramos is in there too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but... So so move Mbappe on and put Ramos as the what? number nine. Oh, maybe front. They, maybe yeah. they should have man. Maybe they should have just cashed I'd, in and got two hundred and fifty mil for Mbappe. They were never going to pay it. But it was a fake. Money, it was a fake bid. Yeah. But money probably means nothing to them anyway. No, no, th- yeah. They'd yeah. rather lose Mbappe on a free and win the Champions League. Well, they might not do that. No, Bruges might. Yeah, we'll see. Well, yeah, sure. Club Bruges yeah. will win it. They they literally have an equal chance. Yeah, the, it's proven statistically proven. Young boys are so. leading the way, so. That's right. <laughs> um, well, speaking of a team leading the way, uh, Bayern Munich, mm. um, who t- t- fucked Barcelona. Yeah, so we, we, we talked about this um, the other day, and that th- this was a total domination. This is, this is the first match ever that Barcelona has... N- uh, first Champions League match that Barcelona has not registered a shot. Not a shot on target or not a shot? I believe it was a shot. They didn't get a shot. That's unbelievable. Yeah, it's never happened. <laughs> that's the first time that's ever happened to Barcelona, and uh, yeah, shocking. They they just got dominated, and I I, I I predicted that to you too. I had a feeling. You did. They seem, they seem to be in a shambles. I, I seem doubtful, but and they, but and Bayern Munich are just well oiled. You know, they're just yeah, they're they're such they're, a, at, they're at the peak of their powers at the moment. Eh? Yeah, and Bayern, they are. Uh, yeah, they could win it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and they, you know, I mean, they added. They signed Sabitzer as well too, so he's he's in that squad yeah, now. That's yeah, that's right. So they they, 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 they do their classic thing of signing all the best players. And Upamecano. <laughs> yeah, and Sabitzer. Uh, Upamecano. 
Oh, to fend amazing off. sign. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I'm sure I'm, again, I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong. Oh, so, and so the stat I have from that, which is fascinating. So that was uh, Lewandowski scoring his, uh, in 18 games in a row. That's right. Well, well I've, <laughs> yeah. I've got a similar one. The last time he didn't score in a competitive Bayern Munich match it was twelve years ago. Twelfth of February. <laughs> That's correct. Yeah. So which was which was the Club World Cup final? So in the last time he didn't so score, it was a game time, that did not matter. La- not only was it a game that did not matter, they also got a trophy for it. <laughs> <laughs> but eighteen games in a row is unreal. Yeah. And so seventy-five Champions League goals is what he's sitting on. Oh, goodness me! Bloody good. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and the Barcelona stat that I've got is the last time they lost an opening Champions League game was, I've told you this before, it was in 1997. Who was it against? Oh, fudge. I, it's an uh, English team. It is an English team? Yes. Uh, Middlesbrough. Uh, right area of the country, yeah. oh, Newcastle fuck. United. Ah, <laughs> right. Newcastle yeah. United, I, I was just going with, uh, you, yeah. You just I'll, picked someone's shit. Oh, no, well, yeah, that too. I picked, uh, yeah, I picked those English teams that were good way back. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's right. Yeah. yeah. I was close. So anyway, um, buying great, Barca, not so much. Yeah, that's, that's kind Barca of, that's bombs. embarrassing, really. Like, sucks well, did you see they took off um, uh, Jordi Alba? Yeah. Oh, and replaced him with a young guy and well, the, yeah, he the got, kid that he came got on injured. looked like rubbish he got injured oh, oh. Who, who was it was it I don't know who the kid that was came on but he okay. just went by and were attacking he wasn't even like looking at the looking at the field he was just lazy tracking and just they didn't look like any energy yeah. and this is coming from like a new boy getting on the pitch you would think they'd be trying yeah, that's yeah. Barcelona. You yeah, like, you don't just get on the pitch for no reason. Like Thomas Muller's running more than you. Like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> and he's he's like forty. Like, yeah. <laughs> and he's getting better. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's he is like a, f- a fine wine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or just like I don't know much about German wine to be fair. No, I don't. I don't think they. He's like fine sauerkraut. <laughs> <laughs> you can't call them that anymore. <laughs> he's a good sausage. <laughs> <Yeah>. Right. <laughs> I love it. Are we, gonna, are we gonna continue comparing Thomas Muller to food and drink? I'm fine with that. Oh, f- fair enough. Um, right. So that can that concludes the the Bayern Munich slash Thomas Muller sausage roundup. Um, wiener wiener roundup. That's right. Um, so we'll we'll finish the Champions League uh, section with Liverpool. Well, we didn't. Uh, I suppose another we should mention is the you know Manchester City. Oh, no, we, I went to that. 6-3, yeah. Yeah, 6-3. Did, did you say it was 6-3? Oh. Oh, maybe I didn't say the score. Yes. Yeah, no, no, you didn't. 6-3. It, it was 6-3. Do, do we all want to have a chance? And the three was scored by the same person. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Three for Leipzig, yeah. Did you listen six, or did you just not No, because he only okay. mentioned the Grealish goal. He didn't, he didn't mention the, uh, oh. the other five goals. Yeah, but if Grealish <laughs> scores, that's all that matters. <laughs> yeah. City, so. Uh, I mentioned that he dived. Yeah, <laughs> may but, have. But I, I suppose another another notable one though is that you know Real Madrid beat Inter Milan. Yeah, 89th one, minute. Yeah, one nil. Mm, so yeah. Right. pretty solid. Titans. Mm. Yeah, they see they they've rebuilt the right way, and yeah. Barca have done it the well, wrong way. Because they you know so, the sign right? And I think yeah. he played tw- he played oh like 20, 20 minutes in that game, and he was yeah. just unreal. Yeah, and then scored. You know, it just looks amazing, and it's like he's going to be the best player in the world one day. It's it's funny because yeah, he, he just looks so good, and it's just hilarious. Like how many clubs were just like hesitating, like mm, uh, I don't know, mm, uh, like and then Real Madrid snaps him up for basically nothing. Yeah, but then they also insane. they're also going to throw him into a training squad with fucking the best players. Yeah, in the world. Tony Cruz. Yeah, it was Luka the, Modric, Tony Cruz and be like, Modric. be like, see this? <laughs> you play like this now. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, yeah, mm-hmm. Casemiro. Yeah, yeah, no worries. Like that. Like, no yeah, worries. yeah, Kim. Yeah, so Kim Vinga looks great, man. That's yeah, he looks like an awesome player. They just, they might just need another one or two attackers. But possibly, I, I feel possibly. like they need a bit of a reshuffle in general. I, like, mm. there's a lot of old, Deep older work. players in there. I mean, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Like, you know, Benson is <laughs> still. It's not dead. It's certainly not dead wood. No, but it's you know it it will be in a few years. You know, this well is maybe. The, yeah, yeah. What if Benzema's still as good at forty? Is like, True. it's not dead wood if it's useful wood. Mm. 
But I mean, they're also losing. You know, I mean, maybe one of the older players they got rid of was Ramos, but then mm. they lose their best defender as well. But they lose their two best defenders, right? Varane and Ramos. Yeah. And um, I don't know. It just it just doesn't. It's definitely not the strongest Real Madrid team of of late. No, of course know? not. But yeah. and no. you know, like why haven't a Hazard like <sighs> GG <laughs> GG for Hazard? Like you've got um, yeah taxi. Yeah, you've got you, you've got um, Vinicius Junior. And Rodrigo playing, playing ahead of him, so yeah. Rodrigo, Bale. Oh yeah, yeah. Rodrigo, yeah. Rodrigo with yeah. the Y. Asensio. Mm. Oh, I forgot about him. <laughs> yeah, Look, all sorts of players. Shit, yeah, damn. Mm. All right. So. Is Ronaldo still there? Stop it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Does Raúl still play? Oh, oh and oh, uh, and before just before we go to Liverpool, the other, the other one we should mention is Chelsea too. Like they had a they had, yeah. a, they had a very scra- well, scrappy match. Well, again, like. L- Lukaku is an individual piece of yeah uh, like, goal scoring ability, which yeah. like you know Timo Werner in that position doesn't score that. Oh, th- that's literally the thing. If you know as as Blick went across, um, if they didn't, if they hadn't assigned Lukaku, no one's getting that header. No, no one in that team can hit a ball like that. Like that's Lukaku is a game changer for them, man. I know we've already picked him up on this podcast already, but that yeah he won that he won another game for them. Yeah, he's won and, all of their games for them so far, basically. And this season, he has scored more Champions League than goals than Arsenal. Mm. So, I don't think we should keep tally of that. To be fair, oh, okay. I, I, <laughs> he, it, you're not you're not wrong, and I appreciate you saying it, but, but not wrong. All right, all right. Liverpool. So, so let's play? go. With, let's go with Liverpool. Okay. Um, and we play AC Milan, and I, I, I think I'm right in saying that it was the first time we've ever played them. At Anfield, so like as in in the Champions League, in a game that was not the final. Mm. Obviously, we played them in the final twice, with a win and a loss, but um, this is the first time we've ever played them in a group game, and we we won three two. It was very uh, very good start with uh, Trent's dubious dubious goal. Uh, again, we're going to have to bring out the uh, dubious own goals panel, um, which we revived during the Euros. Mm-hmm. Um, basically, just to say, so Ash, you weren't here, but we we come up with a plan that's basically going to just stop own goals. So, it, so Trent Alexander Arnold this morning took a shot, shot cross, and the ball deflected off Tamori, and it went in. Shot wasn't going in initially, but you know goes in the back of the net. Under our plan, Trent just gets the goal because yeah, he want he wants it. Tomori doesn't want the own goal. Oh, okay, just and, and, okay. And a lot of it's because it, it's the same. <coughs> that's what they do in ice hockey, and you know ice hockey is a very similar game to football in a way. And so basically, just if the puck goes in uh, off an own goal or whatever. It's just credited to the last attacking player that touched it. <laughs> like the, on- <laughs> like I, um, the only time that it doesn't really work is, say, like in the Spain game in the Euros where Pedri passes it back from forty yeah. yards. Yeah, yeah. That in that case, you should have the shame. Like, can then- we can we give those goals to say like the the reserve to Trent Alexander the reserve goalkeeper or something who's on the bench whoever whoever can we give them to Arsenal <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say that but I thought I've already banged on about Arsenal's yeah. goal tally already so you give it to whoever hasn't scored like in the longest time yeah you know, they get it heavy as a yeah. messy <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. Mm. well and the other thing that ho- uh, ice hockey does that I like too is the idea of the uh, last pass. So for yeah. every goal, they have goal assist and assist assist. Uh, yeah, the 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 pass before. Yeah, the, yeah. and I think the we creative start, pass. We should start counting that stuff, man, because there's a lot of there's a lot of deep lying playmaker players out there that are just not getting enough credit for how much they um, yeah. are involved in those plays. Yeah, you know, I, I would yeah. be nice to see those stats in, included. The pass before the pass. Yeah, I I like that. Um, should we just start doing an ice hockey section as well? Because <laughs> the ice hockey pals podcast. Well, I don't watch ice hockey. There's any problem. Oh, it's I can't keep up. It's too fast. I can't see. What's, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, too many players. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Too much ice. All right. So, <laughs> get, get a fake pitch. It can yeah. cope with it. 
yeah. <laughs> not play on sports. Yeah, artificial <laughs> Tur- ice turf. Artificial <laughs> ice. <laughs> anyway, so Liverpool. Yeah, yeah. Oh, still on Liverpool. <laughs> <laughs> so Trent Alexander Arnold scored a goal, um, and we basically we pressured them for ages. Um, uh, new signing in goal for them, Mike. Mainyan. Yeah, Mainyan. Um, Signing from the from Lille. 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 Yeah, he was having Lille a great game. He was, uh, I believe, he was voted man of the match. Oh. Um, we earned a penalty from a handball in the box, um, and it was Salah's first miss. Well, it was safe. It was safe. Mm-hmm. Um, first non-scored penalty in eighteen. Nice. Which is um, that's good which is a ridiculous record. Very, very good. Um, and it's not like it wasn't a good penalty either, really. Um, you also hit the follow-up with a diving header as well, and Mainian Damn. smashed that away. So the, mm. the guy was on fire. Um, and then Milan go down the other end of the pitch and, and scored two goals in two minutes just before half-time. And we sort of look a bit shell-shocked because we really we did, probably didn't deserve that. Mm. Um, but our defending during those minutes was fucking shocking. So, like, Robertson cleared one off the line and then no one was there to sort of, like, follow it out, to scoop it away. There were about three Milan players there to kick it over the line, though. Ugh. And um, another new signing, Brahim Diaz, smashed, smashed that one in. From City. Are you sure? I thought he was at Real Madrid. I think he went to Real Madrid and then went on loan to AC Milan last season and now he's signed permanently. Maybe. Hmm. Okay, well, look, if I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Either way. Cool. Yeah. So, Brahim Diaz. Mm-hmm. Uh, Rebus scored the first one. Yes. Uh, and then we come out of half time and Mo Salah scores basically instantly. Great. Um, and then one of the. <sighs> Steven Gerrard is now long retired. And left Liverpool, I think, about seven years ago. But if you'd told me that Jordan Henderson's goal, the third goal, was scored by Stevie G, I'd have mm. fucking mm. believed you because it was an absolute yeah. rocket. I agree. That, it, yeah. It, uh, and something about Henderson's scoring makes me always makes me laugh because he, he looks furious. Mm. It's like he could he could have sco- scored five goals in a five nil win against Man United <laughs> at Old Trafford, and he'd be. Shouting, yeah, he, yeah. Robo, track back, <laughs> fuck's sake! <laughs> he, he, like mm. the, the image, and I'll I'll find it to you and I'll send it to you because it's hilarious. Of, um, I think it's Fabinho, Gomez, Robertson, and they're all around him, smiling and giving him hugs, mm. and he's there like fuming. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, why is it not three <laughs> nil? That reminds me of that one when um, you know, watch that the just. I highly recommend anyone watch the Ibrahimovic's goal highlights. Just in general, it's a good time. There's one where he just shoots this insane free kick from so far out, and he kicks it like the hardest I've ever seen someone kick a football. Total rocket in the top corner. And then his whole team surround him to hug him. And he is screaming so loud about how good he is. <laughs> that, and, and he's so much taller than everyone. They're like making this crowd it. around him. And he's just shouting like this furious look on his face. And he just looks like a god amongst yeah. ants. That's how you score a goal. Well, thankfully we didn't have to play against him. Yeah. Oh, yeah, true. He's been very hard. I, I, I don't know. I, I, I didn't, unfortunately, find out what what's wrong with him. Um, might just be resting. Yeah. He, he's too good to play the Champions League. Yeah, yeah. I'm he's sure old enough for the Super League. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right, so he's it. Ebra wasn't there. Um... And thankfully, we escaped. Um, you know, what effectively, like we could have been beaten mm-hmm. um, on a game that we did not deserve to really be beaten. But it was good to see us grind that one out. Mm-hmm. Sloppy, but three points is three points. And um, yeah, good win. Good yeah. win, I think so. Yeah, I think I think I'm happy with that. Yeah, it's certainly more points than I got. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yes. How do you go in the Champions League, Ash? Oh. <laughs> anyway, so that I'll wraps t- up the Champions League. <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what, we would have beat young boys. <laughs> well, well. 
well, we couldn't beat them on the in the weekend, so actually, um, hmm. yeah. yeah. Anyway, um, Europa Conference League is on. Yeah, the Johnsons. Uh, in, in, no league. one, no one actually knows when it's on because oh. I don't even care about it. So yeah, uh, <laughs> look it up yourself. <laughs> wow, <laughs> I I have nothing to add. I'm we're not. not I'm not even going to watch it to be honest. Yeah, we're not talking um, about third rate competitions. No, I have better things to do than watch a, <laughs> a half ass side play in a bad competition made for losers. So yeah, mm-hmm. good times. Right, cool. so <laughs> that's my very wrap up negative on. Um, comment. Yeah, great no, summary. It's, it's not negative. <laughs> it's, not, <laughs> it's not negative. It's just honest. <laughs> All right. So let's um let's do the preview for next week. Yeah. Okay. So um, yeah. So so next week we have well, we're going to play West Ham at at the Olympic Stadium, uh, in the league, and then uh, just yeah. right after that we play West Ham again in the Capital One Cup. Yeah. <laughs> so Sorry. two games against West Ham. That's going to be interesting. Uh, I like that. Always seems to happen. We only played Norwich a couple of weeks ago, and we've got them in the cup. Yeah. 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 Mind you, that that kind of is. How it works. The best teams, the like the Premier League teams, make up most of the competition by yeah, this round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I mean, oh, shit. you've probably got the best fixture here. I think you know you can put away Norwich pretty good, but yeah. you know West already, Ham, West yeah, Ham are a already tough, done it. Really. Yeah, yeah. So, oh, I'm a, I'm a bit worried. West Ham, West Ham are an annoying team, man. Like that, the midfield pair of Sujek and Declan Rice is, is so difficult. Yeah. They're, they're, they're some powerful, powerful dudes. Here, here's the thing, though. Their, their squad is thin. Mm-hmm. It's light. So th- there's a good chance that the team that lines up for that Capital One game will be children. Second string. Young, yeah. young you'll boys. play young boys again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> fine, fine. West Ham's young boys. West Ham bees. Can, actually, can we just work it out? The, the West Ham piglets. The, the under... Piglets, ham, yeah, hatchets. Okay. We stand hatchets. <laughs> the under the under nineteen team should be called the young boys. So mm. that would, for young boys that would be called the young boys, young boys. Great. Yeah, young boys squared. Yeah. Actually, that'd be fun. They must be have like young boys under twenty threes. <laughs> <laughs> young, um, young men boys. Yeah. Yeah. So I, uh, I hope I hope we can win that. Um, yeah. We have Ronaldo. So there's always a chance. So always a chance. Okay, a- any money you want, you'll go through in the cup. Yeah, a- I'll bet my house. Well, I want, I want two wins though. Like, of course. I. This is that we need it. We need to get these points now because there, there'll probably be, you know, like like I've said previously, we can't we can't force the other teams to lose their games unless we're playing them. Yeah. So. If we miss out on points now... But you can that, beat West Ham. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah. These are the games that we have to win. Mm. No excuses. Yeah, because City, the what, last two years, have just gone on that run. Second half of, of the smashing, season. Where, yeah. Of oh, smashing they just, small teams. Yeah, they just don't yeah. drop points in the exactly. second half of the season. So, yeah. yeah. That's like, if we're dropping points now, that could... That, honestly... And it's, <laughs> there was, a, <laughs> there was <laughs> a downfall last season, was not picking up points on small yeah. teams. Yeah. Yeah, 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 for sure. No, great. Mm. Great point. Um, seems, seems a relatively even week next week for fixtures in the in the league um newcastle leeds be a tight game um yeah brentford wolves good one another, no. another good one yeah. arsenal burnley yeah, battle of the bottom pretty like, tight game yeah yeah mm-hmm. <laughs> two two very lackluster teams here one's good at defending one's good at attacking arsenal arsenal burnley um which one's good at attacking uh burnley uh <laughs> <laughs> um right. so like yeah uh, yeah and then Norwich, Norwich, Watford. That's another. That's battle a battle, again, battle of the battle basement. Bottom again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Villa, Villa, Everson actually could be, tight, a, eh? could, could be a real good, good, good one. Too, that's yeah. tight. Um, we've got Palace in the league, and then Norwich in the cup. But I, ex- mm. I expect three goals in the clean sheet from, yeah, from both. To be honest, Palace could ride the high from last week from beating us. So there's there's another potential, and they typically have had a. Bit of a bogey team for you guys the last couple of seasons. The um, thing is, that that's just that's just not true. Like, uh, yeah, but there's, it's, that, it's there's that mentality around it, though. Isn't I don't, it? I don't think so. I don't, and I don't think Klopp allows Liverpool players to think like that. Mm. And the, 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 the aside from the famous result against Crystal Palace, Which one was that? 
Uh, we we drew three all after being three nil up. Oh. Um, yeah. Aside from the that one, which was seven years ago, I think we've I think we haven't lost to them wow. since that one. I don't think we've lost, and mm. that has included a seven nil win. Ruthless. So I personally <laughs> still a buggy team. Personally, <laughs> no, wrong, and personally not worried about Crystal Palace or Norwich. I expect to be talking here next week about two wins. Yep. And then you've got uh, Leicester, Brighton. Um, you'd pick Leicester to beat Brighton, but again, could be a, a tough game. Mm-hmm. And Brighton that, at home. Yeah, yeah tough. and that, that pretty much sums up the week. Yeah, I can see that you're, you're very yeah. trying very hard to avoid... To avoid... <laughs> talking about your game. <laughs> the big one. <laughs> yeah. The big one. Yeah. Sadly. So Monday morning. So Spurs. he's not going to say it. So Spurs are playing Spurs Chelsea. Spurs are <laughs> 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 He doesn't even want it. He doesn't even want to think about it. Uh, Spurs, yeah. Chelsea... Um, set your alarm clocks. Yeah, well, oh, well, like, well, like I say, we're missing, we're, mm. we're missing a few players. Missing oh. Dyer, missing. Oh, sorry, slight tangent. Tanganga. I just, I just remembered too. So you know, you're missing your two Argentinian players and such. Yeah. Do you know what? Do you know what they ended up doing? So uh, they are they had, in, they um, in Croatia, Croatia. in yeah. some weird training camp. So like all of the South American players are all training together. So like. I mean, across teams. So you've got, like, yeah, Romero and Lo Celso, like, playing with all the other Argentinian guys, like, in this in this training camp, and then some other South American guys. It's real yeah. random. That this right. Croatia like, was just like, yeah, you can quarantine here and still train. Yeah, they've, it's, yeah, it's, it's, apparently it's a safe country or something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like, it's one, of the, it's one of the <laughs> low-rate low countries that they can but, quarantine. But yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. So, hey, at least they're training. Yeah, true. Um, That's true. We might get them back. I I would say maybe for the cup. I would say they won't be back till next week. Uh, I'd say they would be because um, Messi's played for mm. PSG. Played for PSG so, yeah. for in the Champions League, right? So, um, yeah. So I'd say that you got your dudes will be back. But Messi has his own rules. So wow, yeah. this is this is true. Uh, yeah. But yeah, club, he, clubs won't be happy about it. Um, but yeah, we have Chelsea. Uh, lights up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say it now. It'll be a three 0 you think you'll lose three? No, I think, we'll, I think we'll beat Chelsea. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. No, yeah, I, I think I honestly, think we will lose to Chelsea. Hatred. Honestly, I can we're see, going to lose big time. I can see Spurs. I can see Spurs winning it. It's just it, there's always time for like big teams to lose games, and I'm going to throw it out there that Spurs well, will win this two 0 This is Nuno's first big test, I suppose. Well, he had City's first game of the season. Oh, yeah, and he, and he passed. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot yeah. about that. Yeah, yeah uh, come on. One nil. One well, nil. we have. There's no Son. Um, Still no there's Son. no Dyer. No Tanganga. Yeah. There's Don't worry about like positives. <laughs> the, um, <laughs> de- defensively, we lo- look too weak to deal yeah. with their attacking threats. Um, yeah, you, you at least need Romero in there, don't you? Like, yeah, yeah, at least. Back. At least. Mm. Just to give us. A proper centre defender, right? Uh, somebody with a bit of experience. So, and then so, and then so in the cup you'll have um, Nuno making the return to his old team. Yeah, back, Wolves, back yeah. to Wolves again. He's played in what second game of the season. Yeah, yeah. So, so he's um, already already returned. So nice. yeah, so play the Spurs young boys against mm. Chelsea, and then play a full strength team against Wolf against Wolves. Wolf. A wolf. One wolf. One wolf. wolf. One wolf. <laughs> yeah, Ruben <laughs> Neves. <laughs> Uh, yeah. yeah. Good luck to Chelsea. They'll have a great weekend. Um, mm. And bring on Wolves in the midweek. Good lord. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Now, speak of mentality. Good goodness me. Oh, look, I'm not. I'm not playing on the field, so that's fine. Thank, thank <laughs> fuck for that. I'm gonna go play for Arsenal. <laughs> yeah, for fifty quid. <laughs> fifty quid. That'd be all right. Yeah. Are they gonna pay for my plane ticket? Yes. Cool. But you've got a quarantine. <laughs> I can do that. Yeah. Right. I'll just hold my breath for the next two weeks. Uh, Is that okay. how it works? <laughs> yeah, apparently so. Mm. Right. Got any, any more for any more? Right. I, I suppose the only thing to do last is just, uh, you know, our fantasy picks. Oh, yeah. Just, uh, yeah who, who's me. your fantasy player of the week? Uh, well, I mean, obviously there's a few good shouts. Uh, you know, Ed Award, I, I'm pretty sure not many people, a lot of people probably didn't have him in their squad because mm-hmm. that was like literally his first appearance. Yep. And, Subbed on like right at the end, so I think Edward could be a good shout. Uh, well, he's a good pick of he, yeah. he'll make he'll make his um value up very quickly. 
And so. he, he's going to start now, right? You know, yeah. Uh, you come on, score two goals, you're starting, right? Well, Ben TK can't play a full yeah. game, so you and, still play at least some minutes. And I did have Mikel Antonio in my fantasy last week, and he got a red card, so it <laughs> could be a good straight swap. Um, other other honourable mentions, of course, we picked up Gallagher in the Crystal Palace team. I think that could be a good cheap one for the season. Well, for the season, maybe. Yeah. For this week, I wouldn't... <laughs> yeah, maybe not necessarily have to play Liverpool, but... Um, but even then, he's a good player. He's involved in a lot of their plays. I think that could be a good shout. Yeah. Um, and I also... Oh, and we also mentioned, you know, Trossard. Again, I think he's a dangerous player. He he, he creates yeah. danger. Let's and go with Trossard. Yeah, it couldn't, it couldn't hurt. He does get a few assists as well. So I think he could be another cheap cheapy. they get you a few points. Yeah. Well, the good thing that I've seen is that they have registered Ronaldo as a midfielder. Really? What? Yeah. Yeah, so... If, so that he's yeah. You mean the fantasy? No, no, he's not. As a is, is he no, gone as a striker? Is he? Yeah. Oh, yeah, he is. I thought he was as a. Okay. No, yeah, he's a striker. Yeah. Okay, I thought, thought, it, I thought he was. Bro. a... Yeah, I thought he was a midfielder, so I was going to mm. hot tip there. Um, well, but I think you're right. I think Ronaldo's a great pick. Yeah. He's going um, scoring. <laughs> this week, I'll be picking Vardy as my captain. Um, yeah. Yeah. Bring yeah. in Vardy, make him your captain. Another one that you might want to look at is Tony from Brentford. Ivan Tony. Yeah. 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 Um, he's already he in does stuff, does stuff. relatively cheap for a, for a t- uh, for the main striker in a team, but yep. yeah, he would do a job and um, he score. Yeah, yeah, most likely again. Um, mm. And maybe maybe look at a a Watford player um, like coming Is- up, Ismail or something. Like yeah, that. just anyone would you know anyone in that Dennis. sort of. Yeah, they got a couple of players. Just anyone in there. They're going up against a, a down in the dumps Norwich team, so mm. you know Look at it. Look at a Watford player, even yeah. if it's a defender or something. Yeah, you yeah could they, be, probably could won't, be. they probably won't score, so you'll probably get a clean sheet out yeah. of the defender. Yeah. Possibly. Um, and you know, and then there's other obvious picks, you know, like Salah, of course. And yeah, we don't yeah. we don't want to go ahead and yeah. say those. People know those ones. Everyone well, knows. Don't pick Grealish because he dies. Mm. You should be allowed to pick mascots. Yeah. <laughs> Fine. Leicester You're allowed City. one. <laughs> Leicester one. City all day. Mm-hmm. Do Man City have a mascot? Oh, yeah, it's just a barrel of oil. Um, <laughs> one one other I've been thinking is Marcus Alonso, because he his 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 recent run of form is he's in the squad. He is the first pick at the moment. He's been really good. Yeah, and he takes he takes free kicks and, and he scores. And he's pretty good at them, and he's got a good cross too. So he does get assists. He even scores. You know, he yeah. he, he actually could be a striker. Yeah, in fact, he was. <laughs> there you at, go. At one point, at one point when he was in the Real Madrid academy or something, yeah, so doing damage. Uh, yeah, I think that as long as he stays first pick, I think he'd be a good shout because he's a yeah he's on set pieces and an attacking player. Yeah, if you want you want you yeah choose all your defense, make sure they want to take set pieces. That's how you get that's right. easy points. <laughs> cool, mm. cool. Hot tips. Yep. So Anything else? There. Yeah. Any you guys got any any, any picks? Um, <sighs> Mourinho for president. Mm. 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 Yeah. No. All right. Cool. Okay. Well, we might as well end it there then. Uh, so everyone, yeah, like and subscribe to the Football Friends podcast, the fastest growing football team New Zealand podcast. And uh, we'll see you next time. All right. Cheers, guys. Uh-